Hey, I hope you're having a great day. I'm Beth Ann from the Brilliant Business Moms podcast, and I'm going to show you how to use Schedule Once. This is a program that Sarah and I recently started using to help us schedule interviews for the podcast, but it's really a great tool for anyone who needs to schedule meetings, whether you're a photographer booking those photo shoots or you're a consultant who works with others schedule once is such a great tool and the main thing that it does is eliminate all of those back and forth emails of comparing calendars throwing out several dates only to find out that the other person responds back and says nope none of those dates work and then you're back to the drawing board schedule once eliminates all of that and i'll show you how it does that if you are on the fence about schedule once and you head to their website and you try to look for tutorial videos or more information you might feel a little bit confused and overwhelmed because schedule once seems to like to emphasize the fact that they can work for a really big company that if you have 10 different people who all could be booking interviews and appointments that they can have these 10 different booking pages or multiple booking pages depending on whether you're doing a consulting appointment versus an interview versus something else and then there's all of these features where you can link different people together for certain things and then book meeting rooms it seems a little bit complicated but if you're like Sarah and I and you just need schedule once as essentially to act as a single entity and book one appointment at a time. I will show you how to do that. It's really easy and it's actually really cheap. Schedule once for what we need it for. It only costs us $9 a month to get us that booking page that we need. So it is definitely worth the price. So you can see up here, we only have one user and that might seem confusing since obviously Sarah and I both do the podcast interviews, but we always do them together. So essentially we function in the same way there's never going to be a time where just one of us is doing the interview so it made sense to just set it up as one user and then our schedule once is just connected to our business google calendar our brilliant business moms at gmail.com that google calendar links up to schedule once and it will cost you more money if you want to link more calendars so sarah and i just kind of decided that we would both go into the Google Calendar for the business account and just block off those times when we're busy or and really because there's an algorithm set up where you can show just your available times to schedule once like just when you want to have those interviews so really we only need to block off busy times that would interfere with an interview time so for for us we would typically schedule during nap time a 1 to 3 p.m. time slot would be available for an interview. But if one day Holden has a doctor's appointment during that time, I'll just go ahead and block that little time slot off as busy in my Google Calendar and schedule once automatically updates it for me. So it's pretty sweet. Okay, and we don't need, we do have a booking page link, but just one page. A group meeting doesn't apply to us. But let me just show you how you'll get it all set up. Once you sign into Schedule Once, they will take you step by step through all of these areas of configuration. So they make it pretty easy to set up once you get into this system. So for us, our customer link, which this is really cool, you can make it what you want it to be. So ours would be this meetme.so slash brilliant business moms podcast. So people know, you know, what it's about. And what you do with this customer link is this actually goes in an email to that person that you're wanting to interview or make the appointment with. And so then when they want to schedule, all they have to do is click on that link. And I'll show you the steps I'll go through in a second. But they'll click on that link and it takes them right to your calendar and they pick the date and time they want. So it's just so easy. Okay, then schedule wants to walk you through booking. So for us, we knew we wanted automatic booking because the point of signing up for Schedule Once was to eliminate all of the back and forth emails. So we knew if we set up the right parameters and the right time slots for our interviews that we could trust that someone could go and schedule their interview and we didn't need to get an extra email to say, Sarah scheduled her interview. Are you okay with this? Well, okay, we're of course we're okay with it. We already set up the parameters. So yeah, it's fine. If it was available, then sure, she can do it. Okay, then you can set up your time slots, how the duration that you want for your appointments. So for us, the default is an hour because we like to leave a bit of wiggle room in case we're chatting with that person before or after the interview. 
Um, but typically our interviews are, we shoot for maybe 25 minutes. But we also wanted to leave 30 minutes available as an option because the people we're interviewing are busy mom entrepreneurs. So they might only have 30 minutes that they can give us. And I don't want anyone to be deterred from doing an interview with us because of time. So we've made that 30 minute time slot available as well. And then down here under booking restrictions, you could say if you only want five interviews a day tops, go ahead and set that here. For us, we knew that we'd set our time slots to such a low number that we weren't really worried about that number of bookings. And then we did want to add a 15 minute buffer between bookings just in case something ran over and you can change that amount of time right there, right there to be, you know, if you think you need a 30 minute buffer or whatever the case is. Or let's say you're a photographer and you'll be on location and so you know you might need an hour to get back home after the shoot and be ready for your next photo shoot or whatever the case is. So booking time frame. Again, if you're a photographer, let's say if you need to book a venue where you're going to take the photos or rent some sort of equipment or props to use, then I'm sure you'll want to have more than a day before the appointment to prepare. So you might set this to a week, a couple of weeks, whatever you think. But for us, I mean, we can jump on Skype and interview someone with very little notice. So we just went ahead and set it at one day to make sure we didn't miss out on anybody who had last minute availability. And then ours only lets you book up to six months in advance. It felt a little silly to us to be booking further out in the future than that as a podcast. You know, we want to make sure that that business mom is still relevant and is still working on that business um, when we interview her. So more than six months just seemed a little crazy. But on the reverse side of things, you don't want to make it just one month or two because, you know, you, you could have some really busy people and they might be able to do it six months from now, but not today. So ours, again, we set cancel and reschedule any time. But again, if there's a price that's factoring into that appointment, let's say you're paying for childcare or you're paying for a venue to shoot photos, then of course you'd want to set this to be maybe a couple of weeks out or whatever you think is reasonable there. Okay, so down here, availability. This is where you will set the time slots that you want. It's really nice that you can set up this recurring time slot so that every single week we know we'll be available from 1 to 3 during nap time to do an interview and then 9 to 10 at bedtime for interviews. And then as the school year starts, we can open up more time slots in the morning. But it just makes it really easy. You make this change right here and every single week those will be the available slots that show up. And then in here, you can edit by date if there's a certain day where, again, you're on vacation or busy for whatever reason, just go ahead and, and mark that all as, as busy. And I'll show you real quick how to come in and edit. It's really pretty easy. Okay, so green would be my available time slots. If I wanted to change that, I can just click and drag and remove it and say, nope, I'm no longer available then. I don't want to do that though. I want to leave that in, so I'll cancel that out. Um, and then these purple slots that are showing up, this is actually what's being linked to that Google calendar. So the Brilliant Business Moms calendar, we've already blocked those off as being busy for other things going on. And so it automatically updates it here in Schedule Once, which is so nice. So I'm going to cancel because I am, I do want to be available during that time. But you get the point. It's really easy to set up. And then ours is set up to our time zone. But I'll show you when someone goes to schedule an interview, they can change it to their time zone so that there's no confusion. So calendars, again, this is just where you say that you're what you're linking to. So ours links to that Google calendar. And if you wanted to add more calendars, you could, but it will cost you a little more per month to do that. Location, so this is really more if you're a business and you need to reserve a certain meeting room for that appointment. Booking form, so we wanted to make this really easy. So the only required fields for someone booking an interview with us is they need to give us their name and their email, and that's it. It's just so easy because if they're booking an interview with us, we've already talked to them. We've already given them the link, so we know who they are. We don't need any more information than that, just name and email. 
customer notifications. So this is pretty interesting. You could set up all sorts of reminders to hold your customer's hand and make sure they don't miss your interview. We decided not to do that. It seemed a little bit annoying to me to do a 24-hour reminder, a one-hour reminder, a five-minute reminder. I guess some people do that, but to us, I thought, you know, 24 hours prior, just make sure they remember. Um, and then the nice thing about this email reminder is that we also include in this tips for how to have a successful interview. So that would be things that will help the sound quality of the podcast to be better and just to make sure that they are prepared but also relaxed and have a great time with us. And again, up here, we send a scheduling confirmation and for that, we can pick what we want to say in that confirmation. So it's really nice. We just send the one email. We don't link it to Google Calendar. We don't make it a Google Calendar invite because not everyone's using Google Calendar. So essentially you're just sending someone an extra email that they might not want. Um, and we're essentially just trusting like, okay, you got the email. If you want to add it to your Google Calendar, go ahead. But we're not going to hold your hand and do it for you. <laughs> um, so down here, this is what we type in that interview confirmation. So we just we let them know our Skype handles and we tell them, please send us an email. Let us know what your Skype handle is. I was hoping that there would be a form or part of the sign up form where they could enter their Skype handle in the field right there, but that wasn't an option, so I had to include it here. So schedule once, if you're listening, add a Skype handle option to that initial sign up bar so that people can just put that right in when they sign up for the interview. Okay, so then we let them know all the questions that we're going to ask during the interview that um, typically we like to keep the interviews at 25 minutes, but of course there's some wiggle room. And we let them know, you know, if there are questions they absolutely don't want us to ask or if there are things they want to make sure we do hit on to please let us know because we are flexible. Our interviews are not necessarily the same exact questions every time. We like it to flow and be a conversation. So we try to have a few different questions each time. Okay, and then we let them know too that they'll get this reminder email 24 hours prior and that that's going to have tips on making it a success because the last thing I want is for them to not open up that reminder email and be like, yeah, yeah, I know the interview. We want them to open it up and see what those tips are. But I also didn't want to overwhelm them with all of that information right off the bat when it really isn't relevant. They really just need to know a bit beforehand. Okay, so let me scroll down here and show you what that reminder email looks like. So it just says, we're so excited to chat with you. And then tips like make sure you silence your phone, turn off Facebook notifications, use a small carpeted room, be sure that your lovely children and pets are in a different room. So, and then we give them a little bit of technical stuff on hooking up that headset slash microphone. And we also let them know that there may be pauses between your answers and our response. This is to avoid talking over one another. Pauses and goof ups are easy to edit. So feel free to state, oh no, that was a goof up. Let's start again and it will be okay. We have had a lot of mom entrepreneurs to say, yes, I'd love to be interviewed by you, but please know I'm not a natural public speaker. And we let them know, hey, that's okay. This is just a conversation. And if you mess up, if you fumble over your words, that's okay too. We can just back it on up, start again, and it's no problem. And then last tip, obviously, relax and be yourself. We're going to have a great time chatting. Okay, so down here, you also have the option of having a follow-up email. We don't do that because I really want it to be a personal touch. When I tell that person, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to chat with us, to offer advice to our listeners. That was awesome. I want to be, I want that to be personal. Um, in that email, what we also do is ask them for photos of them and maybe photos of them with their kids as well that we can use on the blog post and we can use to promote that interview on social media. But I also want to make sure I'm bringing up some wonderful things that I learned from the interview and that I'm really excited to share with our listeners. So we don't do that rote follow-up email. Okay, so let's head back here. There's only a few more things, guys, and then you pretty much are all set up with Schedule Once. 
Okay, so user notifications, we just have it set up to send us an email when people are booking their appointments and when they cancel, things like that, just so we don't have to always be logging in to schedule once. We'll be aware of the changes that are happening. And then booking page details, so this is what will show up when someone clicks that link that you sent them in an email to make their appointment. We want to make sure they have all the info, they know who we are, they've got their contact information over here, our website, and for some reason, Schedule Once only lets you do a few of your social media buttons they only had a few options so we went ahead and put the ones in that were available okay so that's pretty much what you have to do from your end to configure your booking page um, and then I will show you when you email someone and you send them a link and say hey you want to schedule an interview click this link here is how it shows up it will take them to this page and then right off the bat, it asks for their time zone. So if they're on the West Coast, they can go ahead and pick that so they won't be confused. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Set a duration. You know what? I'm a busy mom. I've only got 40 minutes to give you guys. Sorry, I can't give you a whole hour. But that's fine. We left that as an option. So then you'll see in the calendar... All the white days are available and these days that maybe already have interviews or, you know, it's the weekend and we want to be with our family. So they're just not available. So it just makes it so easy to see all in one place. So I know I'm shooting for an August interview. So I'm going to go for Friday. And so see, usually we are available 1 to 3 p.m. Yeah, 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern time, but because they're on Pacific time, 1 p.m. would be 10 a.m. So it just automatically updates it for you. There's no confusion there. So I'm going to say, yeah, let's start at 10 a.m. It's going to be 40 minutes long. So then I just put in my name, I put in my email, and if I have any other notes, which actually we had someone schedule an interview today who said, I love that you include all the questions in your confirmation. That's so great so that I can prepare for this interview. So that was just nice to see her little note. And then all I would do to schedule my interview was click done. And it's that easy. You literally only had to send one email to that person you wanted to interview and this actually happened to us just today. We sent one email connecting with this fabulous blogger, letting her know how much we loved her and why we thought she'd be a great fit for the podcast. We included that link and said, hey, if you're interested, go ahead and click and you can schedule that interview. If you've got more questions for us, of course, write us back and we'll respond to those. But she went ahead and booked the same day. It was pretty cool. It just made it so easy. No more back and forth. No more email after email. And then I'll show you real quick what it will look like when you get that interview confirmation. So it'll send to me that Sarah has made a booking. And it'll tell me the date and time here. And then it'll let me know what that text is that we had sent to her. So I can kind of look over that and make sure, yep, that included all the relevant information that we wanted to share with her. And that is it. That's how easy Schedule Once is. If you have any questions about Schedule Once or really anything at all, um, you can email us at brilliantbusinessmoms at gmail.com. But I hope this was helpful to you and that if you have a business where interviews or appointments are required, that perhaps you'll consider using Schedule Once to make your life a little bit easier. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you later.